It's a historic site. Many years of Anthony's Pier 4 restaurant, a landmark tourist uh, attraction in the city. And now we've got uh, a 22-story building on this site. The Boston area has some pretty fierce weather. This is located right on Seaport Avenue on the Boston waterfront. High exposure to wind-driven rain, sometimes hurricane forces, and this is a robust system that can handle that kind of attack. For the most part, it's, um, it's the interface details that are critical. As much as possible, we try to look at detailing and, and try to keep it simple, uh, keep it repeatable. It's not always possible. It sometimes has to happen in order for a design to be uh, effective. But from, from a general constructability um, approach, keeping things that are simple um, you know, and, and easy to install is, is a good idea. What we have is a precast panel, and then we have some structural steel bolted to the panel to create frame for the window. Um, here is a, the fluid applied membrane that's applied to this, and this membrane bridges between this metal angle and over onto the precast. There were some practical reasons why a fluid applied membrane was particularly well suited for this. The main one was that the position of the window was just ever so slightly onto the precast. And you needed a membrane that was able to bridge and, and seal to a very small amount of material and stay adhered. Typically with sheet applied membranes, we usually use about a two inch overlap that you'd want to maintain to make sure that you get proper adhesion. With a fluid applied membrane, that doesn't, isn't the case. As long as it can get onto the material, you can make that, that bridge. Another really nice thing about fluid applied membranes that, that we like is that there are no seams, there are no joints, there are no overlaps. Um, the thickness can be well controlled. Um, you don't end up with a buildup of materials that can sometimes get in the way of putting windows in and, and constrain the rough openings. And um, this just comes on and is basically painted and, and trowel applied on. To go through the, the material installations, we have joint and seam at all the interfaces of the corners of the, the jam to uh, sill, jam to head. And then where the metal and the precast touch, there's a joint and seam bead as well. Then we have the whole entire perimeter lined in fast flash. Instead of just relying on a single sealant joint around the whole window, we've gone to a two-stage joint where we have an exterior joint, which is gonna take the primary weathering, but we've also incorporated an interior joint that is the, the, really the, the primary water seal um, for this building. The final move is air dam going from the window profile to the fast flash treated rough opening. With that closed cell baccarat and air dam in this position, even if that exterior caulk joint were to fail at some point, you're not gonna get air or moisture into the, the finished space of the building. In terms of a fluid applied membrane that's, that's intended to take the place of the traditional peel and stick membranes in rough openings and window integrations and door waterproofing, um, Prosoco, from my experience, is one of the ones that I've known for, for the longest time. And I had the most experience with it. So it was when, when the question in terms of a recommended product came up, this was the one that was you know, on the top of my list. It's, from my experience, it's got a good track record, and you know the, the contractors that have used it have always really you know liked using it. They found it was easy to use, easy to install, um, you know. It, so it, it seemed like a good choice for this project.